Okay, so NVIDIA just recently announced that their G-Sync compatible monitors are uh, going to be a thing. So that basically means that they're certifying various FreeSync monitors to work with G-Sync. Uh, in other words, NVIDIA graphics cards are all going to support FreeSync. And there's no real way around the fact that every single monitor is technically supported. It's just a matter of whether or not they're certified. So uh, in this case, with the MG279Q, um, there is, there, it's not certified even though the MG278Q is certified, which is a little bit weird because you would think that there's just like a one number difference. They probably should be both supported. I'm going to walk you through why it's not certified. And uh, then I'll also show you how to make it work correctly with uh, NVIDIA's new branded G-Sync, i.e. adaptive sync, whatever you want to call it. Um, so right now, this is just an example in Overwatch. I have it set to... Um, 108 FPS locked, and uh, if I shake back and forth, hopefully this shows up on the camera, um, we get some tearing. So if you look along this wall, it's easiest to see. There's just some lines that pop up, and we have tearing. So uh, this is because I have not done anything to set up FreeSync to make it work. So um, the first step, that's a little obvious. Uh, we're going to exit out when we do this, just so that, you know, we're safe about this. Uh, we need to go into the monitor and turn on FreeSync. So that's the first step. And from here, if we go back into Overwatch, oh, whoa, that feels laggy. I'll deal with that in a minute. Notice it says FreeSync can only be activated within the 35 hertz to 90 hertz range. Um, that's primarily the reason this monitor is not supported as a G-Sync certified monitor. So if we go into the practice range, let me grab a hero. Okay, so we go here, we still have tearing. That's the biggest problem here. Okay, now the interesting thing is too, if I go into options and I had it locked to 108, if I bring this down to inside the free sync range, you'll notice there is still tearing. Okay, there's two reasons for this. The primary reason is that we haven't enabled G-Sync. So this is how you go about doing this. It's, it, it's kind of misleading when you go into the uh, settings for this because it looks like it's enabled at first, but then it's actually not. So um, inside the G-Sync settings, uh, set up G-Sync right here, it looks like it's enabled. Enabled G-Sync and G-Sync compatible. Uh, however, if you look right here, this is the monitor we have this selected for, and this is what whether or not the setting applies to it. So this is our like global setting. This is select the monitor that you care about, and then this is whether or not to enable it. So this actually enables G-Sync uh, on a monitor, even though it's technically FreeSync, and they're trying to rebrand it as G-Sync, which is hella confusing. Uh, okay, so we've turned that on. In theory, this should work now. Now, one thing about that FreeSync disabled message is you could almost always ignore it. Oh, that's weird. This is very strange. Okay, well, some interesting artifacting happening here. That was not occurring before. Wow, that is impressive. Okay. So this looks really bad and it, it looks like it's working, but we had that terrible, like, flashing. Um, and it's kind of weird that that would happen. So we're going to actually, we'll, first, before we do that, we'll look at the refresh rate of the monitor. So right now, it's actually working. So if we go to, if we look 86, we've locked it at 80, so it's kind of jumping in weird places. But in theory, it's working. And we're not seeing any tearing, but there was that really bad artifacting. So the reason this is happening is because, in this case, our FreeSync range caps out at 90 frames per second. The problem is we've set our refresh rate to max out at 144. So if we bring this up to 120, that's above the 90 range, but still inside of our 144. Oh, weird. It's actually working now. Well, this shouldn't be working. Uh, when you first get the monitor, what'll happen is this will not work. 
And um, the, the reasoning for this is because you're currently, your resolution is set to 144 hertz. If you were to set it to 90, then it would work without any of the artifacting. So we'll, we'll do this right now. We'll set this to 90 and uh, bring it back here. Here we go. Okay, so we've set it to 90 and we will frame rate cap to 92. Wait, no, let's be within the range. So it's to be lower, but wow, that is a low cap. Okay, 70. So now it's gonna work fine and we won't have any artifacting issues. So now, but the problem is you want to have the full range without having those artifacts. So you wanna be able to go all the way up to 144 and cap this at like, we'll say 143 so that you're not pushing the monitor in some edge cases because of the way frame rate instability works uh, up across the boundary and getting like tearing. Uh, you wanna be able to have it set something like this. So at 144 hertz max with 144 as the top end of your range. But as we saw earlier, we get some weird artifacting when we do this, even though like right now it's working for me, it wouldn't work for you normally because you haven't gone through the other steps that I'll, have, I'll show you here. So, um, so that's the case where like you don't do anything other than turning it on. So in order to get it to work, you would have had to set the refresh rate to 90 Hertz and you would have had to keep your FPS inside that range. But there is another step that actually allows you to go into the full range of, uh, not full range, but a un, non-default range for FreeSync, I guess we'll say. So we're gonna turn this off first. This was actually a critical step for me. I had to turn this off um, before doing this in order for it to work. Um, so, but before I go into these steps, uh, let me just talk about one thing really quick. So this, the monitor's behavior as you've seen it so far is why it's not G-Sync certified and why NVIDIA has gone through the steps to certify things. Now, I think it's misleading that they try to call things G-Sync certified as like a blanket statement of whether or not they work because that is just not the case. NVIDIA supports FreeSync. However, they don't have quite as robust support as AMD, but more importantly, they're trying to take cherry pick the best monitors and make it look like only those ones work with G-Sync. Okay, so let me pull up a tool called Crew. So this is Crew. Crew lets you change a lot of stuff about your monitor's resolutions and really customize some fine details that you usually wouldn't care about. You could use this to do some display overclocking uh, or you could do this to change the range of FreeSync, which is what's relevant to us right now. Uh, I was personally wondering whether or not this would work with NVIDIA cards when, it, uh, when they first dropped and apparently Crew just works like, you know, perfectly fine with this uh, right after uh, the G-Sync update dropped. So what we're gonna do is we are going to click the edit button right here next to our monitor that has FreeSync. So if we hit edit here, it's gonna give us range limits. Range limits is our FreeSync range if you look at the vertical rate. So this is 35 to 90. That's the FreeSync range of this monitor by default. So if we change this to 53 to 144, I happen to know that this works with the MG279 Q. This is a good range. Um, and then we hit okay and okay. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna restart my computer before I do anything else. Okay. So this is the way that you fix most FreeSync issues. You go into crew and you mess with the uh, the FreeSync range and try to adjust it so that you don't have any blanking issues or artifacting or anything of the sort. So typically what that means is you might need to bring up the bottom end of your FreeSync range. Uh, in the case of this monitor, for whatever reason, the top end of the FreeSync range is the problem. Uh, this monitor goes up to 144 Hertz, but for whatever reason, they only decided to let it go up to 90 uh, for the FreeSync range. So I have no idea why that was done. But in our case, to fix the MG279 q and make it work perfectly with FreeSync, we just need to change this range by moving it up a little bit. So it doesn't go from 35 to 90, it goes from 53 to 144 now. 
Okay, so now we're back in Windows. What we can do, since we've set all this fun shenanigans, first I'm gonna go my, uh, change my advanced display settings here. Because at some point along the line, because of switching resolutions and everything, my desktop was set to 60 hertz. So we'll just set this to 144 for now. Okay, so now you'll notice that FreeSync disabled is back. We could ignore that now because our new FreeSync range is not the default FreeSync range. So it's gonna complain every single time, but it'll work perfectly. So if we go to our NVIDIA control panel, now that we've updated the FreeSync range for our monitor, give us a second, okay, we can now go back and re-enable this. So remember, disabling before you change the range and then enabling after you've restarted is the key part here. Because for whatever reason, if you keep this setting on, it somehow stores your current FreeSync range and won't apply correctly if you just change the FreeSync range on your monitor. Re disabling and re-enabling this is what gets you that new FreeSync range correctly applied. Okay, so now we'll go back into game. Okay, so you notice that we're opening the game now and we're not seeing any weird artifacting. It's all working perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. And if we actually look at our monitor refresh rate, it's bouncing around. So it's at 55, it's going, uh, okay, here we go. So we, it, we have it now running at 142, 143, which is the exact same thing we've got going up here. So if we go here, move around, go back to this corner and we can see there is no tearing whatsoever and we're currently once again capped at our 143-ish area. So just to kind of demonstrate this a little bit more, we'll go turn this down all the way to 67. And our frame rate's super low, but still no tearing whatsoever. And then now if you want to see something interesting, actually, so first of all, just, just to show once again, uh, right now it is doing an interesting thing where it is doubling, so, 67, double that, and that is why it's currently at that refresh rate. So it's kind of like a low frequency compensation thing, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but they double your refresh rate instead of actually trying to sync it up perfectly when it goes below a certain threshold. So if we turn this up to 90, there we go, perfect, it's synced up, boom. So no tearing. And uh, now the one interesting case is, this is, this is because of FreeSync, it's not actually because of anything else. If we uncap this completely, we'll still get tearing. But that's because FreeSync does not actually ensure that your frames are tear-free above the FreeSync range. Um, that's just because of the limitation of the fact that the screen can only refresh at a certain speed. And beyond that speed, if you're pushing like 200 frames at it and it can only, you know, it's only 144 hertz, you're gonna get some tears because some extra frames are gonna be pushed to your monitor and it can't refresh fast enough. So. Uh, that's just something to keep in mind. That's why either A, in order to get a perfectly tear-free experience with an uncapped frame rate, you need to turn on VSync, which I don't recommend. Uh, that'll get you low latency VSync, um, but uh, the arguably better way to do it is just have VSync off and make sure your frame rate is capped slightly below your refresh rate, so something like 140 or something, because you'll notice sometimes uh, it does jump above the range in very rare circumstances. So you see it's going up to 143, 100, yeah, 144. So it actually went up to 144 even though we've capped it at 140. So that's just something to keep in mind about that range. It's a little bit weird how that works, but yep, that's how you enable FreeSync on the MG279Q using an NVIDIA GPU. And uh, hopefully some of the information here is helpful for other FreeSync monitors as well that have issues where they don't work perfectly with the G-Sync implementation of Visa Adaptive Sync. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to throw a like on the video. Yeah, leave a comment if you have a monitor and this made it go from not working to working with a NVIDIA GPU. Uh, so that way other people can have a little bit more information as to what monitors work well and which ones maybe have additional issues that are just a matter of poor implementation that can't be fixed by these little tweaks. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.